Hello, welcome to your 35 minute slow flow candlelight yoga class. This is a gentle sequence designed to give you a nice full body stretch and to help you relax and unwind before bed. Before we get started, I recommend taking a few minutes to set up a cozy and relaxing environment for your practice. Maybe dim the lights, light a few candles, or perhaps just put on some comfy clothes. This video is kindly sponsored by Happy Haves, which is where this beautiful moon lamp is from. If you're interested in learning more, I'll be sharing some information about them after class. Once you're ready, make your way on your mat and we'll begin in a comfortable cross-legged seat. Let your arms rest on your thighs or knees. Sit up with a tall spine and then close your eyes. And just allow yourself to fully arrive, to land here to sink into your body. Begin to breathe deeply in and out through your nose. Breathing big, full, intentional breaths. With each inhale, pull your breath down into your belly as you feel your belly inflate. And with each exhale, give your body permission to fully release down into the earth. Take a few more breaths like that. Inhaling, feeling your belly expand out and exhaling to trace the sensation of your breath over your top lip. Keep the shoulders relaxed, face soft. And with your next breath, keep the eyes closed. Simply drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Beginning with some gentle neck stretches. Place your right fingertips down beside you, allowing the stretch to continue from the right side of the neck all the way down into the shoulder. Keep that smooth, even flow of breath. You can stay here, or if you'd like more sensation, you can bring your left fingertips just above your right ear, gently stretching the right side a bit more, being mindful not to pull or force anything here. Just let your left arm relax. Release your left fingertips down if you took that variation. Bring your head back to center. And draw your right ear towards your right shoulder. Place your left fingertips on the ground beside you. Feel the stretch on the left side of your neck. And then if you feel like you need a little bit more, you can place your right fingertips just above your left ear. Let your right arm completely relax. Try to maintain a tall spine and stay grounded down, sending the breath into your left side. Release your fingertips down, bring your head to center. Start to find neck circles. 
moving your head in one direction, nice and slow, working out any lingering tension or tightness here that you might have built up throughout the day. And then switch directions of your circles. And find stillness, bring your head back to center. Place your hands on top of your knees, we'll move through some hip circles. So slowly start to shift your weight over to the left side. Pull your belly and chest forward as you move your weight over your legs and then shift all the way to the right. As you lean all the way back, straighten out the elbows and round through the spine, chin to chest. And then repeat this circle a few more times, just shifting your weight around and moving with your breath. Feel the stretch in the spine and the hips. Try to close your eyes and forget about what this looks like from the outside. Really just feel the movement from within. And there's no wrong way to do this. And switch directions, begin to move in the opposite way now. Taking a few more breaths. And gently come back to the middle, shoulders over hips, finding a neutral spine. And on your next inhale, reach the arms out wide and up overhead, palms touch. As you exhale, bring hands down to heart center. Again, breathe in, reach the arms up connect the palms, exhale the hands down, roll over onto hands and knees, come into tabletop, stacking your shoulders over your wrists and hips over your knees, extend your left leg behind you, Tuck your toes and begin to shift your weight around, maybe back and forth or side to side, whatever feels good for you. And feeling the stretch in the calves and the wrists. Lift your left foot up and roll your ankle a few times. Find stillness and then cross your left leg over your right. Place your left foot to the outside of the mat and gaze over your right shoulder. Imagine as if you were trying to bring your right shoulder and hip together. And then gaze forward, place your left knee down behind your right knee, open the feet out wide, and then lean your weight back just as far as is comfortable for you. So almost as if we were coming into cow face pose, but keep the hips lifted. Bring the belly closer towards the thighs to deepen the stretch. Relax the head and neck, breathe into the hips.
Slowly lift yourself back up. Uncross the left leg, keep it lifted behind you. And then place your left foot to the outside of your left hand to come into lizard pose. If you need to readjust your stance, maybe slide your right knee back. And then gaze forward, ground down through your palms to press your hips down and lift your chest. Feeling the stretch in the front of your right hip and the outside of your left hip. Come back to your breath. Now you can stay here or you have the option to take a different variation by rolling over onto the outer blade of your left foot, lifting the sole of your foot. Place your left hand to your inner knee, gently open the left hip, maybe lean your weight back. Take one more breath. And then place your left hand back down, come back into lizard. We'll be here for about five more breaths. If it's in your practice, you can come down on the forearms. Wherever you are, close your eyes and tune in. Notice where you feel the sensations in your body. Notice where you feel the stretch the most. And then send the breath there. Slowly lift your gaze. If you're on your forearms, prop yourself back up on your hands. Kickstand your right leg so that you can turn to face the right. Place your left hand down inside of your left foot. Press your shoulder into your inner knee to keep your hip open. And then extend the right arm up, coming into a mini extended side angle. Start to find circles in the shoulder, moving the arm up and down to open the chest. Take a few more rounds. And then place your right hand down. Extend the right leg behind you again. And then step the left knee back to meet the right. Tuck your toes and find a child's pose variation, sending the hips back towards the heels and stretching out the feet. If this is too intense for you, you're welcome to find a traditional child's pose with the toes untucked. Arms extended out in front of you, forehead to the ground. Just take a moment to thank yourself for showing up for being here and finding time for your practice. On your next inhale, slowly lift yourself back up into tabletop. Extend your right leg behind you, tuck your toes and begin to shift your weight around. Loosening up any tightness in the calves and getting some blood flow back into the wrists. Lift your right foot up. And roll your ankle a few times. 
and then cross your right leg over the left, place your right foot to the outside of the mat and gaze over your left shoulder. Take one more breath. And then gaze forward, place your right knee down behind your left knee, open the feet out wide, and lean your weight back to get a stretch in the hips. Relax your chest forward and think of bringing the belly closer towards the thighs. Slowly lift yourself back up. Uncross the right leg, keep it lifted behind you, and then place your right foot to the outside of your right hand to come into lizard pose. Readjust your stance if needed, maybe slide your left knee back a bit, and then gaze forward. Ground down through your palms to press your hips down and open your heart. Coming back to the natural flow of your breath. Choosing to stay here or taking a different variation, rolling over onto the outer blade of your right foot. Place your right hand to your inner knee and gently open the right hip as you lean your weight back. The sole of the foot is lifted. One more breath. Place your right hand down, come back into lizard. And then find whatever variation you'd like, maybe come down to the forearms. We'll take about five more breaths here. Close your eyes and drop back into your body. And slowly lift your gaze. If you're on your forearms, prop yourself back up on your hands. Kickstand your left leg so that you can turn to face the left. Place your right hand down inside of your right foot, pressing your shoulder into your inner knee to keep your hip open. And then extend the left arm, coming into a mini extended side angle. Start to find circles in the shoulder, moving the arm up and down to open the chest. Moving with your breath. And taking a couple more rounds. And place your left hand down, extend the left leg behind you and then step the right knee back to meet the left. Keep the hips stacked over the knees, walk the hands forward to come into melting heart pose. Press the palms and forearms down into the mat. Rest your forehead on the ground. Breathe deeply into the belly as you feel the chest and shoulders open. We'll be here for 40 more seconds.
With your next inhale, lift your gaze. Set the thighs and the hips down for Sphinx Pose. Forearms parallel to each other. Elbows under the shoulders. Press the tops of the feet into the mat and lift your chest. Close the eyes. Breathe into your heart center. Now stay here or if you'd like more sensation, you can come into seal pose by lifting yourself up on the hands. Adjust the distance of your hands away from your body according to the sensations in your lower back. Bring the hands forward to reduce the sensations or even bring the hands wider. a couple more deep breaths. Slowly release out of your heart opener. Make a pillow with your hands and rest your forehead on top. Give yourself time to pause here. Feel the belly expand into the floor as you breathe. Bend the knees as you lift both feet up off of the mats and drop your knees over to each side releasing any tension in the low back. Release the feet back down and roll over onto your back. Moving mindfully and slowly. Once your spine is resting on the ground, hug your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your shins, giving yourself a hug. Gently rock from side to side. We'll move into a quad stretch from here. Keep your left knee hugged into your chest, interlace the fingers, and then keep the right knee bent and place the right heel on the ground towards your left hip or glute muscle. Feel the stretch in the front of the right thigh. Adjust the foot here. If this is too intense for you, slide the right foot away from your body. Or if you'd like to deepen the stretch, you can place your left hand on top of your right foot. Keep your left knee hugged into your chest with your right hand. Close your eyes as you feel your shoulder blades relaxing into the ground. Gently release your grip if you had one. Bring your right leg up and hug both knees back into your chest.
extend the arms out wide and then drop the knees over to the left coming into a spinal twist. Relax the shoulders into the ground, keeping the eyes closed. Find that deep, soothing breath and send it down into the lower back and the legs, allowing the twist to release any tension. Float your legs back towards center. Hug the right knee in and then find that same quad stretch. Keep the left knee bent and place the left heel on the ground towards your right hip or glute muscle. Feel the stretch in the front of the left thigh. Adjust the foot here if you need to. And if you'd like to deepen the stretch, you can place your right hand on top of your left foot, keeping your right knee hugged into your chest with your left hand. Gently release your grip if you had one. Bring your left leg up and hug both knees back into your chest. Extend the arms out wide and then drop the knees over to the right, coming into a spinal twist. Let the arms become heavy as you close your eyes and breathe. Come back to center and find happy baby. Bring your hands to the outer blades of the feet, knees hugging down towards the outer ribs. If it feels good, you can rock from side to side. Release yourself into Shavasana, legs extend long, shoulder blades tuck underneath you and palms drop down by your sides. Soften the eyes until they close and allow your body to find rest. If there's any lingering tension through your body, or your mind. Invite that tension to release and soothe that tension with your calm, natural breath. Enjoy these next few minutes here in Shavasana and I'll call you back when it's time.
start to slowly wake your body up. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Rock your head from side to side. Bringing your awareness back to the space. Being mindful of your surroundings and any objects nearby you. And just stretch your body in any way that feels good to you. When you're ready, draw yourself into a ball, dropping your knees over to one side for a fetal position. Using your arm as a pillow, close the eyes, pause here. Allow yourself to savor these final moments, savor this rest that you are able to cultivate in your body today. With your next inhale, mindfully press yourself up to a seat. Eyes closed, hands on your knees. Take one last moment on the mat to check in with yourself. Notice how you feel. Bring your hands to heart center, prayer position. Sealing the class with an intentional gratitude. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me this evening. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. And I'll see you in the next class soon. This video is lovingly sponsored by Happy Haves. I'm so excited to show you guys this beautiful full moon product that they were kind enough to send me. It came packaged so thoughtfully, they always have these cute little messages and cards. The setup process is pretty easy and only took me about five minutes in total. The lamp does require you to charge it before use, but then it runs cordless and it looks really nice displayed on a table or a dresser. I've been using mine every night since I received it. I really like to use it during my yoga practice and I've gotten so many compliments from friends who love it also. So this full moon lamp is really cool. It actually also works as a diffuser. The lamp itself has three different colored light switches, either yellow, soft white, which is my personal favorite, or this warm color, which is also beautiful. If you're interested in getting your own, you can use the discount code HAPPY to get 10% off any of their products online. I've also teamed up with Happy Haves to sponsor a giveaway where one person will win a free full moon lamp diffuser. Check out the description box below for more details on how to enter the giveaway and to view their online website. Thank you to Happy Haves for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for watching and practicing with me. I'll see you in the next yoga class soon.